Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chill chats video. What else would I be doing on my channel? <laughs> I got my chai tea right here. I got my notes. Okay, we have a lot to talk about. I should probably get started. So this video isn't for everyone. It is currently 7.19 on a Friday night. So you can see how my social life is. I'm sorry if the lighting isn't the best. I know this side is brighter, but this is my chill chat corner. And I have my candle burning right there. Just act like you can see that. It smells really, really good. So, yeah. Oh, and if I haven't been here for two hours, then I'm gonna do like a mini Lush haul at the end. So, if that's why you came to this video, then I guess you can skip. But I think I'm about to talk about some really important things. Five minutes later, I'm actually gonna start the video. Oh, by the way, this is my first video of 2020. It's not really that big of a deal because right now it's the 25th of January. Probably by the time this is posted, it'll be February, but it's fine. I've tried to film a few videos since then because I decluttered my closet and I started filming that. I felt like it was boring even though I like to watch other people's declutter videos. I just felt like I was not doing a lot even though to me like decluttering I love just watching speed but whatever whatever. So that was one thing I want to talk about how I've decluttered so much. I've got rid of so many clothes, donated them, and I have a bag of clothes that I feel like I could sell. I've just decluttered so many things. My closet, my nightstand, my bathroom, my desk. Like I cleaned out the drawers of my desk so well and the thing is just because i'm moving next year so i'm like mm, let's just make this process easier by cutting down stuff right now so then i'm not like stressed out next year next year as in this year but it's gonna be a new chapter of my life so i'm calling it next year speaking of editing videos this was the other video i wanted to do was decorating my MacBook with stickers. I did not because I felt it was really boring and not a pretty good setup. And then I have like, I made a dream board and I have a dream board as my backdrop. So that's cool. I love it. It's so thin. And that's my sticker I made. I didn't have enough room on the front, so. But yeah, here's my stickers. They're so cute. I'm just excited about that. And I'm excited to edit this video on that laptop. And I'm excited to actually be able to film these annoying little editing clips that people do. Sorry, not sorry. The only way I'm going to be able to edit it if I get a stinking USB to that thing adapter because they don't come with USBs in the MacBook Pros, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. I'm kind of going off of decluttering. I feel like I'm in a place where I have so many things, which I hate that I have so much stuff. I'm blessed that I have so much stuff, but I just hate that I have so many things I don't use. They just sit around collecting dust. That's why I kind of started decluttering. I've been watching a lot of zero waste YouTubers recently and kind of minimalism stuff and I feel like I'm never going to be a minimalist because I just have so much junk. One day when I move out, like full on move out, have my own place, I feel like that's whenever I can go to make that step of minimalizing my life. That's just been on my mind a lot recently is lowering my waste. I know last year that was kind of a big step for me. In that or just like living more consciously but i feel like this year i really want to make it a priority to like buy less packaging um even though i did start that last year with like my bulk foods and stuff at sprouts i want to focus more on like the reason i wanted to go to lush was to look at their like naked skincare products because i really like the fact that you can have something that doesn't need plastic packaging and you use so much less product and also a mindset of like a minimalist and lowering my waist is using up products before i buy something else so like right now i have a list in my notes on my phone that say when i use up this i want this i just don't want to buy it and then be excited about using that new thing and then never use up that other thing that i was using that was working perfectly fine i'm almost done with my shampoo and conditioner and after i go through that i really want to purchase a shampoo bar and i was going to do like a shampoo and conditioner bar from lush i've been watching a lot of i know her name is shelby it's either like shelbiz lee or just shelbiz i don't know i'll link her channel down below but i've been watching a lot of her videos also sedona christine i feel like i don't know i'll link her channel down below too shelby did this video of like um trying like a bunch of different shampoo bars there was like a few top picks of hers and she doesn't use conditioner and she has like much longer hair than me so i was like well if she doesn't have to use conditioner why do i have to she talked about a few shampoo bars that she used that she didn't feel like she needed a conditioner afterwards so i'm gonna try it's like the ethique one and i like took the quiz and i got like i think i'm gonna try like the damaged one i'll try and pop a picture like right here if i even know how to do that i haven't edited it on imovie since i was like 12 on my ipad i just want to implement that mindset this year because for a while if you know like i was a makeup 
order. Like I just loved collecting makeup and I feel like I want to make it kind of a series like makeup hoarder to minimalist. That's a catchy title. I used to be a makeup hoarder. I used to be a mask hoarder. I tried to clear out some of my masks. I'm just really going to try and use up a lot of my face masks as well this year. Whether I'm like crazy about them or not, I'm going to try not to buy anymore after this one <laughs> and just find a few face masks that I have like one face mask for each category like a clearing one a moisturizing one and then get a good exfoliator so if you've tried any naked products that you love please leave your recommendations down below because I've watched a whole bunch of videos but that'd also be nice if y'all had feedback too and tell me also if you're interested in that because that'd be cool to like talk about it with someone when I tell people about it they seem like interested like that's cool the shampoo bars say that it has like three bottles worth of shampoo in that which I think is really cool because they might seem a little steeper than like your shampoo bottle that's like six dollars compared to like a fifteen dollar shampoo bar but if you're timesing that by three you know, plus the packaging side of it and the ingredients side of it, that's probably going to be a lot better for you. I'm just really trying to get out of that mindset and really focus on also, I haven't really talked about like my diet, even though it's not even diet, it's just like, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> I know this feels off topic, but it's kind of the same thing. Basically the whole month of December, I was eating like crap. And so I finally got back on track with eating way healthier than I was. Really the one like stickler I am about is like dairy free. Like I stay away from cheese, like whole milk. And I've also been trying to like, I don't think I'm going to completely cut it out of my diet, but um, just lessen my intake of red meat. You can literally use ground turkey for the same thing and it's a lot better for you than red meat is. Honestly, I haven't even done any research on it. I know that sounds bad, but like I feel like I just know that. And I also want to do like a video of me talking about like all the things I've learned since I started eating healthy because it's almost been a year since I've started trying to implement it into my life. I really want to talk about that stuff and just share with you what I've learned. Now I'm going to move on to like the kind of things in my routine that I've changed. All of these things are things that I've changed. So I finished the book Captivating. This is basically just a guide to a woman's heart. This is just like a really deep book. I just think it's a really good book for men and women to read, especially all women. I don't know. I'm not really good at explaining what books are about, but I just know that this was a really really good book. The stories that they put in here and the people that they spoke about, they answer like specific questions in here and it's just really interesting. And there's a men ones too called Wild at Heart and I definitely want to read that one because I need to get to know how a man thinks, you know? I definitely recommend men and women read this because women it just helps you really understand your thoughts whether they're subconscious or not and also what God thinks of you. If you have any past shame like what to do with that, that that doesn't define you and things like that. For men reading it, they know how to respond to women, like to see how they act, why the way they act. And obviously a woman isn't like one size fits all, we're all different, but we do have some similarities and that is what is talked about in that book. So I really would recommend that and my friend is reading the Wild at Heart one right now and my friends were the ones who told me that I needed to read that. But that's like the quickest I've ever read a book. It took me like a month. I was reading a chapter every night pretty much. That's one thing I'm trying to implement in my routine i've kind of fallen out of it in the past few days just because since i finished that it's kind of hard to like go from that book to like straight into another book at least for me i was reading every night and it just really helps your brain unwind and if you're on a screen like right up until you go to sleep it's not gonna work the past like week since i haven't been reading i've had the worst time going to sleep like it's so hard for me to fall asleep i do recommend if you have trouble going to sleep just read find a book and read and if you don't have a book if you have your bible open up your bible and read that's what i've been doing the past week that leads us into our next point <laughs> my church is doing like a daily bible reading and they literally have a pamphlet with every day of the year like up until december 31st what chapter you're gonna read that day and it could be like two or three chapters i know in my last video i posted that i didn't want to like stick to a rigid thing with reading my bible i just kind of wanted to do it like how i wanted but i felt like that was kind of like a way that i could just like be like oh well you know what i'm saying i don't really know this is gonna sound really type a of me but <laughs> whenever we got like the little pamphlet it has like little check boxes um I'm definitely doing that so i can check off every day of my life it starts in the new testament which is different than how i started Started last year I kind of just was like I'm gonna do it on my own and I started in Genesis I divided it by chapters to see how many chapters I have to read a day but I feel like they've done it more in like 
chunks of like what goes together and like the actual length of the chapter instead of just like the amount of chapters if that makes sense i feel like i'm being like really rambly so i've been doing that pretty much every day and we're still going through the gospels which i remember the first time that i read all four of them i was kind of just like eh. you're reading the same thing over and over again but we're in luke now which i'm fun about because i love luke i bet you can look up like daily bible reading if that's your personality type where you like to check things off that's something really to encourage you to do that is be able to check that box off okay <laughs> another thing about social media i just watched my last video the other day to make sure that i was kind of up to date on everything make sure that i wouldn't touch on the same things or if i have a different mindset already from like a month ago that i would touch on it right after that video was filmed i went to like a conference around that week was whenever like the lord just put on my heart that i was gonna unfollow a lot of people first i was like i'm gonna spend less time on social media maybe even delete it for a week i have frequently done this like i go through and unfollow people but this time i was just cutthroat i was like who is not gonna make the cut like i was basically unfollowing everyone that i didn't really care i know that sounds rude i didn't really care about their life but especially if people post like all the time in my feed we're just being crowded up and that makes you want to scroll because if you have something to scroll then you're gonna scroll so i went and unfollowed like 60 people on my personal instagram unfollowed like 10 people on my other instagram just because i was I wasn't really following that many people anyways on there. So sometimes whenever I do catch myself going to Instagram, there won't be anything to check because I've already checked it. I don't even really open it that much anymore. I maybe will get it in the morning and maybe at night, maybe just once during the day. It's not as consistent as I used to be. And if I just see that I'm clicking on it to click on it because I'm bored, I immediately exit out. If you look at your screen time, Mine has significantly decreased because of social media. I also unfollowed a lot of people on Snapchat. I thought about deleting it, but I really, I just really like the memories that pop up. So I just follow the people that I want to see their lives now. And there's like literally not ever anyone on the stories, but I get my memories. So that's all that matters. That's like a little bit about what's been happening. I mean, that's honestly all that I had to talk about. I have a few videos planned on filming in the next few days, which I'm really excited about. So in my last video, I was talking about how I'm not really someone to like come up with recipes i don't want to necessarily become a cooking channel because i just have a lot more interest than cooking like just sitting and talking to a camera like you're my friend my therapist <laughs> I said that I'm not good with coming up with recipes, but I would love to just test recipes. So I came up with a catchy title, I feel like. So you'll just have to wait and see. I feel like that's probably going to be my next video. I don't really think I have anything else to talk about. If you have any questions for me, just leave them down below or go to my Instagram, which is always down below, and DM me now. You want to talk about Lush products? First thing on top here is like a little sample. I have three samples and two things I bought, so it's not really that much. But I have three mouthwash tabs and three two feet tabs. I've been trying to, you know, look into zero waste things, but what I realized is their tabs come in plastic bottles. It's kind of like, you know, kind of defeating the purpose. I know it's a lot easier to recycle than like a tube of toothpaste would be, but then I was thinking like I was reading the reviews of the toothy tabs and they said 60 came in a bottle. And if you're brushing your teeth twice a day, and most of the time I brush my teeth more than twice a day, that's like a bottle a month. And they're like $10 at least, I can't remember. So that'd be like $120 a year or toothpaste when a tube of toothpaste lasts me like six months <laughs> so it's been like seven dollars on toothpaste for the year like you see that difference right there i think it'd be something cool for like if you were camping or something like that both of these just because it's a one-time thing that's kind of my rant on that and then my other two samples are ocean salt and sleepy lotion and the sleepy lotion i've been using every night except for last night because i was like maybe this is the reason i'm not falling asleep because i always use focus it's so pretty and purple i love it but it's really not that strong of like lavender if anything i'd want to put like seven more drops of lavender in here because i love the smell of lavender and then i have ocean salt which i haven't tried yet and i got the fresh one because like the more preserved one was like kind of green once i go through my freeman exfoliator i want to find a more natural one and that's kind of expensive so i was like i need to get a sample first and then i got charity pot just because it's just such a cool thing and like i've been needing a good body moisturizer and it looks like i've used a lot but I really haven't. I feel like I got one that someone stuck their finger in. I don't know if I did. Normally I check my products. I open them up before I buy them, but like I didn't because I pulled it from like the back of the stack. Isn't that a pretty big chunk out of it that I have not used? It's fine though. Like it's really fine. It has a really subtle smell. It kind of just smells like, not like flowers, but it kind of has like a subtle, subtle floral smell. Like it's a very natural smell. And I've just been using it like on my neck and my chest, like whenever I moisturize. And then the other thing I got was the Mask of Magnum 
minty. I got the self-preserving one. She literally said you have to use up the fresh ones in like six weeks. And I'm like, who do you think I am? <laughs> I'm not gonna use up a mask in six weeks. And I've used this twice. And the first time I like layered it on thick and then the second time which was just now i did like a thinner layer which actually let it dry because the first time it didn't really ever dry it stayed really glossy looking there's a lot of honey in it so i'm guessing that's why that's pretty much all i have to talk about p and so k s o dodo so yeah I hope y'all like these chatty videos. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna keep filming them because I just love talking to the camera and the 25 people that consistently watch my videos. Thank you. I really do appreciate when you subscribe, when you comment, when you like. It really does mean a lot to me and I would love it if you did it on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.